Okay, for this next step, we're going to put on the x-axis rails. Before we do that, we need to put these on the corners of the table. And we're just going to put this here just for the, um, for the time being. We're not going to fasten it down yet. We just want to make sure the rails are going to go into, into the, the correct location. This is the rail here. One of the two for, for each side. One, one of the two sets for each side, actually. We'll have a, an 8 foot and a, and a 20 and a half inch. And it'll be going like this. So we need to put on the other end, the mount for the chain on this side. Then we'll be ready to screw this in. But when we screw it in, this is the extension for the x-axis. We're going right here. You want to make sure that these two pieces are perfectly aligned or you're going to get bumps um, on your work if they're not. So um, we're going to make sure that when we when we drill this, uh, this is going to this is going to fall perfectly at the edge of the table so we can get a perfect alignment all the way down. We're going to be start we'll start with the the two ends first, this end and the other end on the other side, uh, just to make sure we have a good alignment. And then we're going to go into the middle. We'll drill the middle and then fasten that one, uh, and then the middle of those. You'll see as as we do the process ourselves. I feel that I'm right at the edge of the table. I'm going to go ahead and clamp it so it stays in that location. Check to make sure that you have it against. We don't want to be off at all. We want to make sure that we have it precisely at the edge. Now we're going to go ahead and drill a hole. And as we go, we're going to put the bottom rail in. Place the. Now we're going to just hold this right there. So this stays in place. So this stays in place. We're going to put a clamp here. It doesn't really matter where we clamp it. Just so it stays stays up. So we're not going to tighten it up yet. We're going to make sure that it's aligned properly before we tighten it. And you also want to make sure that there's no debris, wood debris, in, in the middle of this. So make sure it's all out. If you have any debris, then that's going to give you a variation in thickness along the uh, the rail length. All right. So we have it. This have this pretty much positioned and centered a little bit. We can go ahead and. Tighten it, but not too tight, just snugly, so it stays in place while we put in the other, in the other hole. Now we're going to drill the other hole. And we take it to it down and drill another hole. And you also want to make sure that you're drilling perfectly vertical, or you're not going to match the hole underneath. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put a screw in here. The screw in and then the bottom rail and we're gonna screw it in pretty snugly so we can the center of the rail or the midpoint of the rail so that's pretty good make sure that you put it right up against the side we're gonna go to the midpoint of the rail and we're gonna ma uh, make a drill hole but first we want to make sure these two rails are where the rail is straight so we're gonna have to take our eye and move that for a moment Take our eye and make sure that it is perfectly straight. And once you're you're pretty, because this may not, the edge of the table may not be um, perfectly aligned, but your rail needs to. So you want to make sure that's perfectly straight and use your eye and adjust accordingly. And then you can go ahead and put in a hole. This is the midpoint. And you're gonna put a hole just kind of in the middle of the larger hole, so you will have a little bit of variation. Make sure all of the Sawdust is out. Now we're going to put another screw and nut in this hole. And we're going to check it again for, for straightness with our eye because the rail will have moved. And that is straight. Okay. And now we're going to make the rest of the holes. But we'll go back, we'll do another midpoint location. Always ensuring that you get all the sawdust out. And keep checking alignment with your eyes. Make sure that it maintains its straightness. That's good. Another midpoint. Make sure you're wearing protective eyewear while doing that. Okay. All right, now we can go ahead and drill the other holes, all of them. Good 
it's, a, it's okay at this point to go ahead and tighten all the screws all the way and we'll check finally for any straightness issues. And it still looks straight, so that's good. Okay, now I'm going to put on this edge. This is the extension. And I'm going to put a clamp right here. And I'm going to eye it to make sure that it's straight according to the rest of the rail. Though the clamp may get in the way, but should be able to get a pretty good idea. While you're getting this extension on, keep checking for straightness with your clamps as it is being clamped down. While it's in its proper location, we're going to go ahead and drill all the holes. While we put the bottom rail against the bottom, and once we get the screws in, we'll check for straightness. Okay, before we put on the other um, side of the, the long axis or the x-axis, I'm calling it the x-axis. This needs to be positioned using the gantry itself. So we need to put on the, the V-groove bearings on the gantry. We'll be putting them on the very top right here and at this end. And the way we're going to do it is we'll put the, we'll have a 3 8 inch screw and for this, this position here, it's a 2 inch screw. And we'll put the V-groove bearing on first. We have a thin washer that provides a, um, a spacer for the inner race. So the outer race is able to move. And then a larger washer. And the larger washer is to protect the wood. And we're going to put it into the, this particular hole and put on the 3 8 inch nut. And we'll do that to the other side. We're going to put the next V-groove bearing using this hole. And on the, on the other side, we're going to use a um, an idler sprocket. So we're going to do the same thing we did here, but um, add an idler sprocket to the other side. And first we're going to use the 3 8 inch screw, then we're going to put the, the V-groove bearing on that, and then we're going to put a thin washer, and then a larger washer on top of the thin washer. And then we're going to put a large washer on the other side, and then a thin washer, and a idler sprocket. And this may need to change its, its depth um, to match the drive sprocket that's gonna go on the other, um, on this portion here. So this may have to be taken off late, at a later time just to make sure we have a, um, a good displace or good spacing from, from the, the surface here. And now we're gonna finally put on the nut. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. The V-groove bearing first, and then the thin washer, and then the large washer, and then the large washer on the other side. thin washer and to add more spacing you can just add more washers, large washers here. You can also add if you need to another 3 8 inch nut but you'll need an, um, a longer a longer screw. We'll see how this works with, with our unit and, and change as necessary. We're not going to put on the next idler sprocket yet which will go here. We're just going to, we're trying to put on the, the rails so that's the only reason why we're putting these on, the V-groove bearings on. Okay, now we're ready to put on the next rail. We're going to put the gantry on the two sets of rails. And this is going to slide in the proper place. But so we don't have this happening, we're going to have to clamp it a little bit too. We'll have to clamp it, clamp it over here so we can... Uh, so we'll clamp it at a particular position where we're not going to have the gantry. We'll probably put the gantry about right here. And as we... We can put this on kind of loosely and allow it to move a little bit. And we'll also help it move so it can move into the right location. So let's go ahead and get the gantry on. Let's go. Right, so put the V groove on the rail. V portion of the V groove centered on the top of the rail. Now because this is in, we can put in the, the bottom V groove bearings. So make sure you have the gantry on the rails as shown on in the distance there and we're going to put the v-groove bearings in this location now so we can get the underside of the rail. So we'll put on the v-groove bearing, it's going to be a screw, we're going to put the v-groove bearing in the back 
and you're gonna put the screw on in the front and then the nut on the back. Let's go ahead and do that. So put the V-groove bearing through and and washer on. Put it on the V-groove bearing and then put a well actually you have to put on the this piece first. Yeah. Okay. Now you have the V-groove bearing underneath. We'll have the V-groove bearing on top. Do that to the the other end and on the other side of the gantry. So we have clamped the other rail. The tricky part is going to be getting the bottom rail on here. What I intend to do, this rail is positioned to where the V-groove is located at this particular point where the gantry is located. So what you want to do is make sure that this is positioned correctly and we're going to get it about at this location where a, a hole is located. And we're going to go ahead and just drill a hole at, the, at that point. We're going to push the gantry all the way to the other side and drill a hole um, over there so we know that the, the rail is positioned at the correct location according to where the, the V-groove is located. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and put a, a temporary screw in here just so it holds the position. And we won't need this anymore on this side. We can use this for the other side if we need it. But I have a feeling we will. Looks like it's, it's still flat, so that's good. We can go ahead and it's hitting something on the other side. Oh, I see. Okay. So now I can. It's not going anywhere, so it, it is positioned where it wants to be. I'll just drill that hole. You want the bearing as close to this as possible. Okay. Now we have this hole, we can put a temporary screw in. Now I'm ready to put in the lower um, rail. Okay, so that one's in. I'll put the other one where we had the other hole. And now we can install the lower V-groove bearings so we can align this uh, rail on the bottom while we uh, drill the rest of the holes. We've installed the V-groove bearings on the bottom. Now we have, we'll know where this, uh, this rail wants to align appropriately. So we're going to start going down the line and just drilling the holes and adding the fasteners as we go. I'm going to go on this side. I'm going to use the front of the scantry, these two V-group bearings, as the clamp for the extension. So I'm going to place the extension on. And I'm going to have to hold the extension pretty tight so it doesn't flip or anything. I don't want to rely on the front bearings as my guide to, to place the holes if I, if I have to. I don't want to do it if I have to. If I, if I can avoid it, I will. If I can avoid using these two front V-group bearings for alignment for these holes, but I need this to stay in place uh, while I get the, the rear ones in. So I'm going to just make sure that they are pretty straight here, and I'm going to roll the two over the front, and I'm going to continue with the back, but make sure that you check this every now and then to make sure that it's good. Go back here and roll it. Okay, roll it a little further, making sure that the rails stay straight. I may just clamp it at the end. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. 
I don't want to clamp it too tight because I want it to move a little bit. I'm just clamping the edge so it doesn't flip on us. There. Now that I've moved it, I'm going to unclamp and clamp again to make sure that it's moving in the right location. This last hole and this first hole, I'm going to go ahead and just drill them and I'm, I'm going to align it. I'm going to align it after I drill. For the rail extension, I'm going to align it by sight. This is the rail extension here. And instead of using the, uh, the gantry, I'm just going to go ahead for this last 20 inches, align it by sight against the, the rest of the rail. So since it really doesn't need the, the V-grooves to align it at this point. And as I go, I'll be putting in screws and checking for alignment. I'm not tightening the screws too much, so I'll be able to still move it if I need to. I'm going to go to the end. I know the alignment. Good. Check for alignment again. So now I'm going to go ahead and tighten up these two screws so it doesn't move. Check for alignment. Now the x-axis rail has been completed, or the long axis rail has been completed. 